One thing in particular that I don't like on this is where the camera is set. So it's right here on the back end, which normally is not a bad idea. I like having the camera typically on the back side. However, on a flip phone like this, I mean, you can tell it's already enough of a short and fat phone as it is, it's already awkward enough to hold it in your hand. So what's happening when you go into the camera app, it's like I pull it open here, and whoa, my finger's in the way, because the way I'm holding it, and this is just the natural way that I hold it in my hand, is just right there. So now I have to move down my hand like this, and now it's going to work out okay. All right, well that's fine and dandy, but it just causes a little bit more uh, instability. Uh, it causes the camera to, to wiggle a little bit more, and I don't get as crisp a picture as I would like to. So I have to find other ways to uh, stabilize the, the phone so that way the camera doesn't shake around so much. So that's the concern that I have with the camera in and of itself. Now other than that, um, inside the phone we have a processor of around 600 megahertz, uh, give or take. And I've uh, been reviewing a lot of phones lately that have the same kind of processor. And this one actually has a lot better performance. Uh, I think it just has something to do with the way a BlackBerry's uh, operating system works. They uh, run it to be very efficient. And so it's worked well with the 600 megahertz processor. Sure, I would like to see a full gigahertz in here. Um, and over time, I know BlackBerry's going to come out with that, uh, with some of their, their newest phones. But for right now, having the 600 megahertz, it's, uh, it's not very slow at all. It's still pretty snappy. I can move around however I want without too much of an issue. So, especially compared to the Sanyo Zio, is the, that was the last phone that I reviewed. And it's also on Sprint for the same price, same kinds of specs, basically, but this one is far less laggy. And that's always good to see. Uh, and uh, part of that is just, uh, it's, it's part of BlackBerry's legacy and why a lot of people still really enjoy going with Blackberries. They're very consistent, they stay the same, but to their discredit, staying the same is not always a good thing. So, yes, there's, there's good and bad to uh, the way BlackBerry designs their phones. So here's the media section of the BlackBerry OS. There's a lot of different things that you can choose from, as you can tell. Uh, it's great because you have not only just the standard music and video capability, you also have a dedicated podcast app in here. So I can just go through... Um, much like you would see on iTunes when you're searching for podcasts. Right now I've already got one uh, from NPR downloaded and then I can just go in and go into explore and find other ones if I need to and do some searching. So that's a really cool thing. Now going back into the main menu here, oops, okay, let's get back into media. Now, just to give you an idea of the music player and the, the video player, we'll pull this up here. Now, I've got it in silent mode, so you're not actually going to hear music, but, hey, eh, that's all right. So on here, right, of course, this is a demo, but if you have your own cover art that you're syncing in from the, the BlackBerry Desktop Manager that's on your computer, um, you can just have that displayed, too. Okay. And then for your uh, for your videos, just to give you an idea of what it looks like. I'm sure we got a cool little music video here. Oh, look, they're singing on stage. What a clever music video. That hasn't been done before. Uh, if only they could... Uh... Oh, hey, a motorcycle. Oh, and she's driving a car. How clever. Very creative. So, okay, I'm done with that one. I know you were just getting into it and the plot was thickening, but we've got to move on. We've got a review to do here. Okay, so one other thing about the uh, the media while I'm on that subject is uh, you heard me talking about Desktop Manager, and basically it's BlackBerry's version of iTunes where you can go in, you can back up your BlackBerry, you can check out uh, your music files, and uh, be able to sync it directly with your BlackBerry. 
Now it's great because you can just put, uh, you know, plug your cable in and get it all moved over. But um, one other really cool thing that has been added into OS 6 is the ability to do Wi-Fi syncing. So when I go in to my music and I have it uh, already having been connected to my Wi-Fi network, I can go in, see a list of all the different songs that I have in my uh, my music library on the computer and I can go in and say okay I want to sync this and this and this and I'll actually start downloading it into the Blackberry for me wirelessly. So that's really uh, another really cool thing about uh, the new Blackberries that I really like. There you have it folks, the Blackberry style 9670. It's on Sprint. It's $99 with contract. Uh, I was very impressed overall by the phone. Certainly when I first got it, I thought, flip smartphone, it, that, that's really not all the rage right now. And can they pull it off? Well, if anybody's going to pull it off, it's going to be BlackBerry. They're very consistent, very reliable, and uh, they always make a good product. Yeah, there's going to be some things about it that aren't so great. The camera, for example, uh, leaves a lot to be desired. The specs on it are... Mm, very 2008-2009. This feels like this would be the perfect phone to have a couple of years ago in terms of being state-of-the-art. So we have to uh, settle with it being a, a decent mid-range smartphone. So, But still when you compare it with other Sprint phones around the same price range, the BlackBerry style is gonna, uh, gonna be a great bargain. I mean take a look for example at the 600 megahertz processor on it. It's not as laggy as the 600 megahertz processor on the Sanyo Zio. So because of the way that BlackBerry does things, the performance on it is, is very good. BlackBerry's got some great battery life, great reception overall. The call, the call quality was wonderful. Um, all of my calls were crisp and clear. I never had any problem uh, hearing anybody on the other line and vice versa. In terms of battery life, it lasts me a day and a half with moderate use. Uh, for constant use, just going straight full to empty on the battery, it lasts me about five hours. So overall, uh, some great factors in terms of performance. I never had any issues with it in that sense. So uh, for that reason, I do recommend getting the BlackBerry style for the price range. Um, if you are looking for state of the art, you'll want to go with something like the Evo or the Epic, like we were talking about earlier. But you can't go wrong with the BlackBerry style. Uh, $99 on Sprint. I'm Brad with Unwired View. Please check out my full review. Uh, I'm going to detail a lot more uh, things that I liked and things that I didn't like. Uh, overall pros and cons. So come check us out and uh, we'll see you next time.